Good evening, dear friends. Welcome to your YouTube screens. Regardless of your location or activity, or what you've done this week in anticipation of the video, write once, how are you feeling? Bon appétit to everyone who is eating. Well, I also prepared something interesting for you, something you will like, something we haven't had on our channel before. Specifically, our conversation today will be about biologically active points. What is that? In our modern world, in the modern world of blockchain technology and digital yuan, these concepts, Kui Energy Meridians, they are outdated, right? But traditional China medicine, it is based on these concepts. Understood? And that's why, that's why we respect traditions, but from a modern perspective. We also perceive all this with you. Of course we understand. Energy, energy, but we will modernize it a bit with you. This is one peasant, for example, an uneducated China to pass on knowledge to another peasant by inheritance. That's how he explained it to him. That is, this energy will go here, pass there, and come out there. We're both modern individuals. There are biochemistry, hormones, enzymes. That is, this interests us more, right? You understood this, right? We are more attracted to such concepts, right? That is, we take a pill, put it in our mouth, it passes through us, dissolves here, something happens in the blood. This is not energy, these are chemical processes happening. The same thing, we insert a needle somewhere, certain processes also occur there, including reflex ones. So friends, why am I leading this whole conversation, not just talking about it for no reason? Such an incident happened with my own grandfather, he told me about it. He worked as a forester in the forest and was patrolling the surroundings of his forest when he heard a scream. The scream was inhuman, as if not a person was screaming, but a beast, wild. I don't know who, he didn't even understand, some kind of werewolf. Anyway, he ran with his gun, took all his guns, ran, and it turned out to be a Chinaman who had fallen into a trap. He fell into a trap and can't get out. But Grandpa thinks, what are the China doing to you? And the Chinaman begged in a human voice, telling him, let me go, Grandpa, I'll show you. The secret five points, with the help of which you will become healthier, smarter, richer, stronger, and there will be no equal to you in love affairs too. But the grandpa tells him, oh, I don't need your devilish tricks, no. I go to the sauna for treatment, and I feel good. Then the China man tells him, well, come closer, he says. I'll press once, you'll feel what it's like. The grandpa came closer. He pressed, felt what it was like and the Chinaman let him go, and for this, the Chinaman showed him all these points. And why is this? How do I know the story? He himself told me yesterday, and I constantly ask him, why don't you die yet? And he didn't tell me before, but now he told this story. So I will show you right now all these points that he massages every day, works through these special points every day, which prolong his life, he still doesn't die. Everyone is waiting for when your apartment will be free. They can't wait any longer, but now in general watch. I hurry to share these points with you before he sees that I'm showing them to you. The first one is in the middle of the sternum. Right here. By applying pressure to it, you press, find the most painful area on the sternum, it will be approximately in the middle. You press on it with your fingers and make a massaging motion in one direction about 10 times and in the other direction about 10 times. You just make such a circular motion. That is, I will show you how to affect these points with your hands and then a few other ways. This point is used to relieve diaphragm spasm, improve breathing, increase chest mobility. From a biomechanics perspective, how it works. That is, the impact on this place reduces the tension of this chest fascia and thus improves the mobility of the ribs. In addition, from the perspective of traditional China medicine, we have the projection of the thymus gland here. Also, there are lymphatic reflexes here, by influencing which we improve the outflow, inflow of lymph from the upper part of the head, neck reflexively, and also reflexively due to the fact that the tension of the chest fascia decreases. Thus, even with stoop, when influencing this area, many note that their shoulders melt 
and it becomes easier for them to stop stooping. Next, the next point is located on our hand. Right here, in this spot. It's called higu in French, and in China it's also called higu. Such a point is right here. In what cases can it be used? Want to perk up, for example? You press it, you perk up. Do you want to? It is also used for chronic lung diseases, for example, for chronic cough, to improve outflow. Of mucus, sputum. That is, in this way you affect it. And here's the interesting part. There can be several effects. That is, if you press hard enough on the point, you sort of have a calming, sedative effect. If you press lightly on the point, painlessly, that is, without causing yourself pain and suffering, then in this way you sort of activate, stimulate, and increase activity in the lung meridian, which is associated with the lungs, as you guessed. So the second point is the Hegu point. It positively affects our heart condition, the cardiovascular system of the lungs. Because my grandfather's heart, like a conscript of category A, it works uninterruptedly, does not intend to stop because he works on this point every day. His lungs breathe like a steam engine, also no problems at all. He consistently smokes a pack of unfiltered cigarettes, but he has never coughed in his life. No one has ever heard him cough. So, friends, all thanks to these China connections of his youth. Well, you've heard the story, of course, about this China man, how he saved. That's how he thanked with such knowledge, can you imagine? Now, you haven't saved a single China person, you'll find out the same thing. If the video isn't deleted, continue recording. Next, next point. The point is on the foot. In her that part where our toes start to grow. That is, this joint between the metatarsal bones and the bones of the toes themselves. Practically right here, in this place it is located, in this place it is, in this place it is, the point of Yungchuan. It translates to bubbling spring. Why is it called the bubbling spring? Because this point, it is associated with the kidneys, with the kidney meridians. And when it is stimulated, the function of the kidneys improves, as well as the urinary sexual system. The inflow and outflow of blood improves. Various stagnation is eliminated when it is affected. Also, this point is associated with the outflow of blood and lymph from the legs. When it is affected in a certain way, the tone of the vessels changes. That is, by affecting it, we thus tone our own vessels, and it will also be useful for those who have varicose disease. That is, you are not directly affecting your vessels, but indirectly. And by affecting this point, you simultaneously tone the muscles of the foot directly, but also reflexively improve the condition of your kidneys, bladder, prostate, uterus, ovaries, various other organs also 18 plus and of course the condition of lymphatic venous arterial vessels all plaques are eliminated as china medicine promises us all claims to it i'm just sharing knowledge with you friends we'll verify it if anything we'll check everything this one every point how it works how it doesn't work now check everything carefully, write everything down, press, monitor. Every little thing there, what happened, where something went wrong, where something improved, we'll write it all down. For each point, indications, contraindications, conditions of use, dosage, we need to compile with you. It's all because of all this, all this, all this, that what? This is not suitable for us. What is this, what is this? The golden age of reflexology began in the Ming Dynasty era. Many celebrities were working at that time. This is not it. Things don't work like that now. Now, please the dosage, indications, contraindications. What's this? 
From the start of the Qin Dynasty through the opium wars, doctors began to prefer acupuncture, phytotherapy. Now this is of no interest to anyone. Let's focus already. We'll be more serious with you because meridians, energies, let them all show and tell each other. We please don't need this in the modern world. We all want to know but to trust. So friends, what do we have left? What points do we still have left? Well, write in the comments what I missed. So one, two, ah, three. The crucial element that extends life. The point that prolongs life and the point to lose weight so you don't want to eat. Here are these two. So the point that prolongs life. Susan Lee. Not a Mortal Kombat hero. This is the name of a point used to stimulate vital energy. If your vital energy doesn't start circulating well enough, you're dead. In order for your vital energy to circulate well enough and for you to continue living, your Zhu San Li point needs to be periodically rubbed, massaged, or somehow irritated. So where is this point located? Of course, I'll kindly show you because it's in my interest for you to live longer, to watch more. Currently, there are 2 million subscribers. If a million die, I'll only have a million left. Your task is to live a long life. Watch carefully because you also have to stay smart. If you will. And you won't understand anything, but switch to another channel. Start watching some Shoshonen if you will be foolish. So my task is to prevent you from dying, to make you smart, to improve your brain blood supply, not to make you deaf. There's also a video about hearing and ear noise and normal vision. In short, I care about you, dear friends. So, I will prolong your life now. The point is with us. It's on the shin, in the area of the anterior tibial muscle. It's located between the tibia and fibula bones. Here in traditional China medicine, everything is like this sun. It's the width of fingers, but approximately, look, here is the prominence of the tibial bone right here. The left leg, it's located laterally. Well, you don't know what that is on the outside. That means over there, medially inside. Here you go for your piggy bank. New word. Here, and from the outside of this tibial bump of the bone right here, we palpated the muscle and we go down. And right here will be a certain area where you will feel but if you were, for example, some kind of gypsy or China Taoist, you would feel a funnel-shaped swirling flow of energy in this place, which you will not feel because there is no sensitivity in the fingers. You would at least feel hot-cold, right? So just focus on the fact that you're going down, there will be a small dimple there. And don't worry, that is, you'll hit higher or lower Here's a whole area like this, that is, the upper part of this muscle. There will be a small depression. Look, it's right here, yellow 36. In general, will it prolongs life? Pay more attention, don't take it so lightly. And so, friends, well, I congratulate you now, you will be healthy, you will live long. Ah, there is still a point to reduce appetite. But this, as you understood this now, I won't show you here by the link in the description in short, what they're how to affect these points not with hands, but in everyday life, there are different ways, yes, different techniques, so to speak. The whole set of these points full, I will show how to affect them now that is, you know, the points, how to stimulate so that all this work this I will show and as a bonus, of course. As a special point for those who want to eat so that they don't want to eat, to lose weight, you press it in a certain way. You affect it and lose weight well what? And to all the rest until new meetings? Until new broadcasts we write likes? We put comments right. In short tried, what their how much your life has increased in duration in the comments we write we meet? Who wants continuation? And so, we will see again all. Good luck.